I mean, I think I wonder if if maybe somebody who didn't necessarily know scuba diving and you said, oh, that's a prototype for future dive equipment. I feel like this one, like it could be. Well, hello guys and welcome to another episode on the Saga channel. Today, today we're going to do a little experiment with artificial intelligence. There's this app out that seems to be all the rage right now. It's called Lenza and the basic idea is you upload some of your photos and then the AI reinterprets, reimagines those photos into, I would say, more glamorous versions of yourself. Um, they, they're, they're a touch-up app so they're meant to just do um, you know to, to improve your photos and and there is a filter in there that's the uh, I think it's called the avatar uh, creator and so uh, yeah I've seen a lot of people just uploading their, their footage uh, of themselves and then getting sort of glamorized and for the uh, hitting 50,000 followers on Instagram I thought it'd be fun and those of you who uh, watched the stories on that day would have seen it to throw some photos into the AI, but with the idea of throwing scuba photos in there and see if an AI knows, if an AI recognizes what scuba diving actually is. So, um, first of all, I, I, there is maybe some controversy about this app. I mean, I'm sure that whatever photos you upload, you sort of lose uh, control over what happens with them eventually. I'm, I'm sure the AI also needs to be fed somehow. So um, yeah, definitely only do that with photos that are gonna be out there anyway. In my case, those the photos I uploaded are just, uh, they're, they're scuba photos that I use on, on a variety of social media and websites anyway. If you like scuba diving content, make sure to subscribe to the Saga channel. It's the button below and then you get a notification whenever we make a video. If you also click the bell icon, only scuba diving content. So the idea here is that I uploaded some photos of myself, but with an absolute overload of scuba equipment. Uh, they're mostly Trimix open circuit photos because that's where you have the three four, uh, five, six cylinders, the doubles, uh, and a variety of hoses. And so my idea was, I'm sure the AI is somewhat capable of replicating my face, but does it know what it's looking at? Does it understand that these are cylinders? Does it understand first stage, second stage, hose routing? Does it have any concept at all of what it's looking at because surely the AI then draws content from elsewhere, photos from elsewhere, inspiration and reimagines things. But in order for it to be able to do that, it does need to recognize certain things. For instance, face, right? Does it, uh, and I'm sure it does that really well. So I have a good example right here where um, if, I, if I pull up my face, it actually looks pretty good and I immediately see the allure of why people do this. In fact, I think it's relatively toxic because it makes you look a little bit better, a little bit more heroic uh, and in some cases just way too polished. But in order for it to be able to do that, it needs to understand like how far apart are your eyes, the size of your eyes, the size of your nose, how wide is your mouth, even your bone structure to understand the shape of your face. Um, there are some photos that came out a little bit less great where I just yeah, where I just don't look like myself like this one. Uh, and you can immediately see the AI also trying to sort of re you know, reinterpret scuba gear. I immediately noticed the one, two, three, I don't know, eight uh, first stages, but I, I do have a cylinder sort of sl like slung around my shoulder, I guess. It could be side mount, right? Um, so apart from the melting face, um, there's an LPI kind of hanging over the shoulder um, and then there's two waists belts. So I mean, and that makes sense. In some of the photos I do have, I guess, a weight belt and the um, the waist strap of my harness. Um, but so you see the face, usually the face is pretty good, but here and there it does look total, uh, it does kind of lose track of who I am. Um, but very, very quickly it starts getting into really weird uh, territory. This one, I don't look 
like this one at all, but I, I love the accessories around the like waistline. It's, I, it, it's nothing, like if you start looking at it, it isn't anything. It took second stages and gauges and hoses and kind of made this weird AI interpreted spaghetti. But there's stuff hanging around my neck. The LPI is still there, like the, the, the ribbed hose and then um, there's stuff sort of around my wrist, so it, it like which is com dive computers, obviously. Um, so it does know. And if you if you see, there's there's stuff around my neck as well, uh, and it does that in a lot of photos. So in a lot of photos, it does this thing. And of course, I have my my short hose uh, necklace is hanging there. And so it, it often puts stuff there, but they're not necessarily second stages. In this one, I have a bionic arm, so that's really cool too. Um, I think because of the presence of the metal of the cylinders, maybe it took some Robocop uh, footage that it, it's somewhere um, mixed in there. But I do, I mean, I have something on my back that could be like a maybe futuristic rebreather, I guess. Uh, so, I mean, so far so good, but then it just, it, it starts derailing very, very quickly. Um, in this one, I have a gun. So it looks like some kind of a, a <laughs> I don't know, a scuba gun. Uh, but it's other than that, like the hoses are also starting to lose, you know, like any form of sense. Um, so if everybody knows a little bit the, um, the DIR hose routing and this is not it. Um, but it's so far, I mean, there's a bladder there. It's, it's so far, it's, I'm still wearing a wetsuit. There's stuff around my wrist. So apart from the scuba gun, uh, which is cool in a way, <laughs> um, that's about it. And then it starts going completely bonkers. So then it starts introducing the stars. Um, and I, so I start getting the idea, okay, there's probably less scuba content being fed to the AI and maybe more astronaut content or this like space adventure content always with the stuff around and it's really it's obsessed with putting medallions of some sort around my neck so that's that's a reoccurring theme this is a scuba pro um everflex wetsuit so it has the, it has like shoulder pads kind of and it it also really loves those so you'll see in, in the upcoming photos the text because i think there's scuba pro written on the arms and you if you if you notice the text also turns into this it's just not i mean i don't think it's a language i maybe i have to do better research but it's never letters that I recognize. Um, and so from there we go completely crazy here. I'm just floating in space. Uh, the, the shoulder pads have become, you know, much more extended. And what I find really interesting, it gave me gloves. Now I went back and I looked and in none of the photos that I fed the AI, I was wearing gloves. So it somehow, you know, maybe because the astronaut photos that it knows you know, have gloves in them, but it, it still did a relatively good job at sort of reimagining that and texturing it as well, because they do have a reasonable like dive glove uh, texture. I like this photo face, eh, not really me, but okay. Um, this is one of my favorites because it just looks, I mean, of course I like it. It's pure uh, self glorification. Again, it's why I think this app is so toxic because of course I want to believe that this is me. The, you know, um, the, the shoulder pads have now become these like, you know, um, medieval harness, uh, uh, what is that, epaulets? What do they call that? And then the LPI, he's doubled up on the LPI. So I got almost like a rebreather um, loop around my neck. Again, with the, you know, the necklace medallions, Good job though on the, the valves, right? The valves on the back have been uh, preserved. And I mean, I think I wonder if, if maybe somebody who didn't necessarily know scuba diving and you said, oh, that's a prototype for future dive equipment. I feel like this one, like it could be. <laughs> I feel like it really could be. What do you, got, what do you all think? Do you think that's realistic? I, I, I mean, realistic, doable. Um, here, this is where it's just a dead giveaway. Okay, we're in space now, right? Like the, the suit is now white. There's uh, the, at least sort of the remainder of an American uh, flag on my arm. And also, the, like I think the, the pose in which I'm sitting, because most of the photos I uploaded is me sitting with cylinders. So yes, it takes some of that, but also 
a lot of these um, like portrait photos of astronauts before they go in space, um, they they sit kind of in that pose. So I think it 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 amalgamated those things a little bit. Um, and then <laughs> I also I I like it, but it's just a lot of like. I don't know gauges or whatever on on my chest plate so it's a, a cool crossover again with the double lpi as well around the neck so it definitely thinks that that's a that that's a thing yeah and then <laughs> hold on the absolute scuba terminator so this is uh, it's a different style photo as well and it, it's a lot less astronaut and a lot more sci-fi um, again I'd love to think that my hair is always like that um, again with the double LPI sort of around the neck the medallions but it's a lot more bionic like the arms have some sort of exoskeleton um, yeah this could be like a, a sci-fi reinterpretation of what scuba divers wear I think yeah and then my personal favorite I love this one check it out so it's not so much about what I'm wearing but I have this little droid who is just sort of and I look at him too so I really like him uh, and I don't know I really I really really like this one uh, it's a dead giveaway around the neck the hoses kind of start and start like they don't really go anywhere but I like the little droid and I, I wish I don't know I would dive with him if I had the chance. I'll call him Scuba. Uh, and then it gets into more maybe like steampunk vintage territory, this yellow one. I don't look, <laughs> I mean the face is, it could be me in 10 years, I guess. We'll check. If you're watching this video 10 years from now, maybe you can compare. LPI is massive, right? Uh, and then there's some sort of like, I don't know, cylinder helmet type of contraption there. Um, but I really, I mean, I like the style of this one. It's very vintage, very, very cool. Um, and then there's just a couple really freaky ones as well, like this is just much more, um, I don't know, morbid sci-fi, I don't care about that too much. But, so that's cool, that's interesting. Um, what happens when we feed these photos into the AI. Does it just go more crazy? Um, oh, and then there's this one. I forgot this one. This one is actually, this one takes the cake with absolute nuttiness. So um, I d I'm not sure where to start to describe uh, what's going on here. My face is melting once again, but then also how, I mean, I when you do an open circuit trimix dive, you carry a lot of equipment, but what? the hell is this? So, so many hoses and I've tried kind of tracking where they're going. Obviously it's total hose spaghetti, makes absolutely no sense. Um, and then I think there's a dive light floating there and then sort of a BCD kind of to the side. Um, but in, like, if you told me, does AI know what scuba gear is and the answer is no, what would it do? I would, I would guess that it would do something like this. We just look at other photos uh, of scuba gear and get, get absolutely totally lost. Um, but so yeah, then I took these photos and I fed these to the AI and I said, go to town, right? So what happens when we take what AI thinks scuba diving is and then lets it reinterpret it? So uh, I did another round. Just for the record, it's, it's like seven bucks or whatever. So you don't just upload photos. You also need to feed money to the, <laughs> to the algorithm. And again, like super nice photos. Like I, I, I mean, I, I would like to believe that that's me, but it's fully leaning into the space theme. Like here, my face is totally broken, but scuba is back. Right, so there's again a sort of a, a, a sidekick tethered drone who's floating and then a lot of bleep bleep boop on my uh, chest plate. But um, I mean, I'm already happy that Scuba is back. I think it's the only photo where, where Scuba is back again, but I need to, if there's any equipment manufacturers out there who wanna make a little sidekick diving drone called Scuba, he could film me, he could give some um, diving information. I don't know, that's a good idea. Here there's like sort of a little bit of a droid stuff going on, but it's not not particularly interesting. And you can just tell that now they're 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 hundred percent into the space theme. So and I love this one because my astronaut jacket is also open. So it's kind of I don't know sexy scuba <laughs> astronaut. Um, and 
yeah, I mean, at this point, it's it's um, anything goes, I guess, right? Droid arms, right? So there's a lot of bionic arm stuff going on with doubling up on the on the valves, right? Why not? Um, but it's I honestly I maybe expected a little bit more from the second go around. Wow, this one's just trippy again with the medallions man and the the, the shoulder um, plates he really loves that so um, I think and it's so weird right because all in all the face is I mean it's more or less what I would expect some are really good like that's no that's not me um, like you know what it is when you squint kind of looks like me and then when you actually look at it not so much and then here there's kind of a helmet Right, so I got a, um, like obviously space aura circles around me, the medallions and the shoulder um, patches are of course there. My hair is nice on this one. And, uh, but I have some kind of a helmet, so that's kind of cool. Ooh, and my watch as well. I mean, it's kind of almost identical to the watch I'm wearing, so it preserved that. And so there's a few actually, look at this. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. I mean, it's as far as like, because this is the AI photos fed back to the AI. So actually, where does the helmet come from? You know what I mean? It definitely looked at astronaut photos and then was like, I guess that's... Uh... So to answer the question, does the AI know what scuba diving is? I'm tempted to say no. I think I don't know where um, the Lenzo app draws like its information from but it doesn't there doesn't seem to be any scuba diving there now you couldn't upload photos anyway with masks or anything that covers the face or obviously underwater maybe free diving but it, it clearly doesn't know what it's looking at and i think it it clearly keeps going back to this like ast astronaut uh, theme but it's cool and maybe uh, for, like if I was let's say a wetsuit designer or a, uh, a BCD designer I, I would look at this though I would definitely play around with the AI from a design standpoint and say what not functionality but just looks what what is this like is this something that we could bring to the market or a variation thereof so uh, yeah guys it was a rainy day and this is I, I thought this was hilarious personally uh, I actually I'm kind of happy with some of the photos but I don't know what to do with them I can't really use them anywhere because well, obviously it's not real it's not what I do but uh, thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel and if you want to see some episodes with real photos we have some really cool ones with Tom St. George Gil Sassi real underwater photographers who make real uh, human art so uh, check those episodes out uh, and I, I will see you guys next time